Hi, my name is Emily. I'm a faithful follower of Christ, and this is my new series called All Right, Mom. All right, Mom, I'm going to show you how I use my Keto Mojo. This is actually video three in this series. Ah, my phone's dying. This is actually video three in this series. Video one and two are, all right, Mom, here's how I find calories on Carb Manager. Um, and here's how I figure out my fat percentage on Carb Manager. If you have a bunch of kids, you need a bunch of timers. That solves lots of problems. Whose turn is it? I don't know. Check the timer. Um, you guys ready to go? Yeah. Okay, good. So I'm going to do my Keto Mojo. I'm going to show you right now what my level of ketosis is, what my blood sugars are right now. And then if you take the blood, they do it for you. They do it for you in the app. Um, if you take the blood sugars divided by 18, divided by the ketones, that gives you a GKI score. It's all some level of ketosis that we want to be in. But anyways, that's all on the app. It's very user friendly. Um, there are tons and tons of Keto Mojo videos. Keto Mojo has a YouTube site and you can watch a million different people show you how to use this little device. Guys, quiet. You ready to go? Go get in the car, okay? Here. Good job, you can go get in the car. Turn it on, turn the cold air on. Take your screens if you want, we're gonna be gone for a long time. You can watch lots of people. Good job, Daniel. Daniel? I'm gonna tell everybody. Hello. You wanna tell everybody what you're doing? Come here. Um, my name is my water Your name? Yeah. Your name is D? Well, my initial. Your initial. And why do we do that? So we can, like, figure out who the water bottle is. So we don't have. Like, when the water bottles just sitting around, we don't know, like, we don't know who they are. Exactly. So we don't have a thousand little water bottles all over this house that somebody took one sip out of and we don't know whose it is. Now we know. That's yours. Okay, good job. See ya. Bye. Sweaty. Sweaty. Sweaty kid. That's good. Y'all get some exercise? Yeah. Okay, great. Good. Okay. We're going to have a fun day outside today. And inside. Decorating a room for VBS and tabbing five Bibles. You can watch lots of different people do their keto mojo. Um, but I'll go ahead and show you mine and we'll see what it looks like. And uh, I'm going to link below that Thomas DeLauer video. I don't expect my ketones to be very high this morning because the sun is shining and the cortisol is already flowing, which spikes our sugar levels, which would decrease our ketone levels. I think I'm getting this right. I don't know. It's quite the education. Okay, here we go. Okay, here's all my supplies. These are my little control. I gotta use this every once in a while to make sure that my meter is working correctly. Like if I were to drop it or get it wet or get a new package of these, um, you just use these little control solutions to make sure that it's working properly. Um, then these are the little needles that come with it. This is a little thing I clipped off the box. I can show you. When you buy an extra box of these test strips, it comes with something on there. Here you go. This will be helpful for anybody else that does this. That you might not have noticed this. You don't want to throw that away. So that when you use those control solutions, you can see if they're in the right. See, that's the one for glucose. That's the one for ketones. You can see if they're in the right range. So cut that off and keep it or keep the whole box whatever um, okay so I've already inserted my needle here and I wonder if I can set I need a tripod okay that'll work I've already put my needle in here tiny little thing stuck it right in there at the end and then I'm gonna put this on here and set it to you see those numbers That is, look, there's there's some of that solution on my finger last night. That's the control solution. Um, I usually put it on two. That's the depth of the needle. Then you cock it, and it's ready to go. Um, so I'll go ahead and do my blood glucose first. 
I have not eaten since yesterday when I told you I ate that beef stick and that cheese from the gas station. Stuck it right in there. Once you see the little blood drop, it lets you know it's ready to go. I'll go ahead and get my next one ready. Have I got out in the car? Okay, for what? Okay. So this is the ketone strip, this is the glucose strip. This one's ready for me. Time to get this part over with on the side of my finger. Ah, did it. Let's see if it worked. Yep, it worked. Mmm, did it work? Darn, I don't think it did. Yeah, I did. Come on. I might need to put that on a three. Mmm, didn't work. Let's do another one. You're supposed to use alcohol pads. I'll just, I don't know. Don't comment below how wrong I'm doing this. Oh, still didn't work. I'm gonna have to turn this up to a three and get a deeper stick. Oh, I don't think I had it cocked all the way. Hmm. I'll turn it back down to a two. My poor fingers. Okay. It's ready for me. This is my blood glucose. Eighty-one. Great. You want that number lower than a hundred? Super. All right. Here's my ketones. That counted down from five. The ketones count down from ten, and it's just got that little thing right there where it slurps it up. And it lets you know that you've put the right strip in. See, K-E-T, ketone. Okay, here's my ketones for the morning. I want them, ideally, I'm in optimal ketosis, according to Thomas DeLauer. The Keto Mojo website says one to three, but he says one to 1.5. Um, anything above zero is ketosis. There is ketones in my blood. So without further ado, slurp. Again, they might not be very high because it's first thing in the morning. Okay. That'll work. Great, 0.5. Okay, so we know my sugar is 81, my ketones are 0.5. That means I am in nutritional ketosis. That means that there is there are ketones detected in my blood, hallelujah. That means that my body is producing ketones and running on fat right now. Um, watch that Thomas DeLauer video, it's pretty motivating to up the fat, okay. But anyways, here I am on my on my phone now at this point. Um, there at Greg's left hand, Keto Mojo. And this was from yesterday. You can see 7-Eleven. Look at that sad little sign there. You are not in GKI ketosis. Right there in the middle of the screen, underneath the 12.7. Last night my glucose was 92 and my ketones were 0.4. 
I'm going to come down here to the bottom left and sink. Maybe. Okay, let's see if it'll work this time. Yay, here we go. Sinking, today's reading. Oh, look at that, I'm still not, but I'm very, very close. It says you're not in, uh, look here, it says 9.0. So over there to the left, this little bitty dot, if I could point, I would. Um, you have to be less than nine to be in GKI ketosis. I'm very, very close. Um, maybe I will be this afternoon. I'm going to go eat sausage and eggs and then in a couple hours eat some beef patties and that'll probably be all I eat today. Um, I'll show you something here. Okay, I got this off of the Keto Mojo website. So this, what you're looking at is the ketone goals. The light green is nutritional ketosis, 0.5 to 1. That's where I'm at right now. Moderate ketone zone is, um, and then post-exercise goes all the way up to 3. And according to the website, that is optimal. That's where you want to be. So I look forward to being that at some point. Again, that's just if I'm looking at my ketones. The GKI score, I don't, I honestly don't even know like why I should care about that more than this. I don't know. It just takes into account your sugar and your ketones. Um, so looky here, I'm at 0.5. I kind of want to get up to um, 1.5. We certainly want to avoid five and above. Um, keto acidosis, acidosis is no good. And um we don't want to get there. That would be, I don't know. That might be more of a danger if you're, I mean, it's not a good place to be. It's dangerous, but that might be more of an issue if you have diabetes. I'm not sure how that works, but also I know that this two to five range is where you want to be. If you're fighting, my understanding is if you're fighting some type of, um, disease and like cancer or epilepsy, and you want to get your ketones that high and you would do that under a doctor's supervision. Um, okay. So let's see here. This is the glucose. Uh, you can see off to the left, fasting, then optimal, then good glucose, then concern, then warning. So hallelujah, I am in optimal glucose this morning. That's pretty nice at an 81. That's pretty great. You don't want to wake up with your glucose in the three digits. I've heard that's when your brain is producing the very things needed to make uh, dementia. Let's don't make dementia. Um, okay, here is the GKI formula, how to interpret the results. Um, you can see down here at the bottom, if you're six to nine, you're in a low level of ketosis. So I'm 9.0. I'm not yet, but I'm close. Ideal for weight loss and health maintenance. Um, three to six, you're in a moderate level for those with type two diabetes and obesity, insulin resistance, metabolic and endocrine disorders. You're in a high therapeutic level of ketosis for those using keto therapy, therapeutically for the treatment of diseases like I was talking about, cancer, epilepsy, Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, traumatic brain injury, and chronic inflammatory disease. You would do that with a doctor. And then, uh-oh, you're in the highest therapeutic level of ketosis. Very difficult to achieve without a doc doctor's supervision. I don't know. I say, uh-oh, maybe that'd be good for some people. Okay, that's it. Here I am. Um, all right. All right, mom. This has been fun. It'll be really fun when, so I'm going to probably do this twice today. I did it once this morning and I'm at a 9.0 on the GKI scale. I will do it again three hours after I eat my last meal and just see tonight where I'm at and see how sausage and eggs and beef patties affect my ketones. Um, but what's really going to be fun too, is when I get that CGM, the continuous glucose monitor and stick it to the back of my arm and it will basically give me, it won't read my ketones, but it'll read my glucose, which we want here. Remember I told you last night, thank you, Dr. Boz for breaking it down this simply. We want our 
glucose low and our ketones high. We want our blood sugar low and our ketones high. We want to lower that glucose and then raise those ketones. And um, obviously there's exceptions. You could have sugar that's too low and ketones that are too high, but for most of us, that's not the issue. For most of us, we're trying to tweak it in both of those directions. Low glucose, high ketones, and we do that by cutting out the carbs and moving, which is what we've all known we need to be doing our whole lives. And Greg and I just crack up because we've done tons and tons of research to get to this point of circling back around to, um, no, you know, we've, we've actually learned a ton because what I used to call eating healthy, I wouldn't anymore. I used to eat um, all those fruits and vegetables thinking that was healthy. No, um, I want the protein and higher fat. Um, my phone is dying. Ooh. Fat. So um, hopefully later today I will see that I'm in ketosis, which means my GKR score would be lower than a 9. And it will be fun when I get that CGM, that continuous glucose monitor, and instead of pricking my finger twice a day to get that glucose reading, it will give me a data point every five minutes. It's pricey. I'm going to do it for 10 days and run lots of little experiments. Like I'm very curious about my seltzer waters, if they're going to affect it or, um, I don't know. It'll be fun. We are nerding out and getting dopamine to be released in new ways. Gone are the days of depending solely on sugar to feel happy. And for the record, Dairy Queen and Sonic are lying to you. Actually, they're not. They're telling you the truth. They're saying happy tastes good. And here is our fun menu. These people know what they're doing and they are selling you dopamine hits. Dairy Queen should be called Dopamine Queen. For them to print on their cup, the happy tastes good. They are not even being discreet about it. They are selling you dopamine hits and they know it. They know it. Causing so many of us to be diseased and obese, chasing that dopamine high um, from something that is destroying our bodies. This is helping me send things in the right direction. All right, speaking of direction, I'm out the door. Time to take a bunch of kids to church, maybe the YMCA, possibly a minor league baseball game tonight. Love you. Bye.